Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm out early today, it's 5.30 in the morning. Um, I'm out just taking some photographs, but um, I thought I'd do something a bit different this morning and let's do a bit of an introduction into the sound uh, field recorder I use um, for recording all my sound for my videos. I thought it might be interesting for some people that are um, shooting videos like this. And uh, yeah, it turns out to be a very useful uh, bit of kit. So yeah, come with me if you've got a few minutes and uh, we'll take some photographs on on this uh, lovely morning. And uh, yeah, let's do an introduction to the Zoom H1N. Come on. These boats are always interesting. They're situated down by the lake and they're always in the same position. I must have a hundred photos of these boats in different uh, conditions, but yeah, I don't think I have any in fog like this, so this will be uh, pretty cool. So I'll try and get a couple of shots here. I think the best thing about the morning here in the lake is just all the birds are um, up before everybody else and yeah you can really hear everything. Yeah, so a little bit about this field recorder. Um, I picked this up after watching a video from um, a channel. I think it's uh, free sound downloads or something like that. And the guys going around, I think it was Bangkok or Hanoi with this uh, field recorder. And I was like, wow, that's like amazing. The sound was incredible. And he was comparing it to a much more expensive um, field recorder. And I thought, wow, that's, that's really great, you know. It had been a while since I had looked at field, uh, sound recorders, and yeah, this thing, it's very small, it's pocketable. I mean, you can see it, it fits in my hand. It's got the um, built-in mics, if you wanna just lay it down, and I'll show you how I actually do that in a minute, but basically, you can use those and just set it on a little gorilla pod or tripod and just walk away, so you get none of your own movements into the, um, into the sound recording or um, you can of course do what I'm doing now which is connect it to a lav mic um, and of course hide the cord and record all your audio for your uh, talking parts on videos and things like that but um, so yeah it's it's fantastic it takes two AAA batteries in the back um, which lasts forever um, and yeah it's a very nice bit of kit it is quite light I mean 
I don't think you should be throwing this around. <laughs> but this has turned out to be, I think, my most useful bit of kit. Because I really do love the sounds of nature. And I, I like when I'm out in these places and photo walks that people can maybe just about hear what I'm hearing. And I think uh, the sound experience when you're, when you're out on these photo walks, that's a huge part of immersing you in the whole feeling of the place. So um, I like music and videos, but I try to uh, put more of the nature sounds in if I can, you know, if I can get the recordings. Sometimes when it's windy, it's difficult. Uh, but I'm finding actually that this road um, wind cover for the mic is amazing. I've um, shot videos in um, very stormy weather up the west coast of Ireland, along the Burren, um, in County Kerry, um, on the Gap of Dunlow, and all these places where the wind is gale force or storm force winds, right? And this wind cover is incredible. So if you're getting a lav mic, I would recommend this Rode lav mic and get the um, the wind cover for it. And I do have a, a larger wind cover for this, and I'll show you in a minute how I do it. Um, I've got some ducks gate crashing this uh, video right now, so uh, <laughs> you can take a look. Um, but yeah, the sounds out of this thing are amazing. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'll show you how I set it up on the Gorillapod now, and uh, you can see what I end up doing. Cheers. There's some great colours here um, at the boating club. This um, particular boat I always seem to take photos of. It's um, got a gorgeous kind of celeste colour. Yeah, so I'm curious now how this turns out on the M10R, which actually I'm really enjoying the colour out of camera from this um, particular Leica. So yeah, I'm not sure how this compares to say the M240 or the regular M10, if there's a a different color profile but yeah this the colors out of this are really close to I think reality which is what I'm trying to get in my photographs actually I'm not trying to get something you know supernatural just how it is is good enough <laughs> okay let's try and get this photograph This woods across the way from the lake here always reminds me of um, Vancouver Island um, in Canada when I spent a few months there surfing. And uh, yeah, it's just really, really beautiful the way the trees hang over the lake. So the sun's up now and you can see here the way the the blue sky, the fog's after giving way to this lovely blue sky, you know, um, and you get these uh, gorgeous greens, you know, um, bouncing off the lake here. So yeah.
Well, I quite like the um, the way these stakes, these poles, kind of um, you know wrap this tree. I think this um, this flagpole here, all right, in the sailing club, would be nicer without that. But you know, I don't mind it. I think you've got these man-made structures and this um, obviously dead tree in the background, which um, looks kind of cool. So I think this will be nice in black and white. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed um, a bit of an insight into how I record sound for my videos. You know, it's a really important part and I, I really enjoy it. Sometimes I spend um, as much time listening through my, um, my headphones, you know, when I have my field recorder out in the woods as I do uh, taking photographs. So I think it, it can be quite addictive. I really enjoy doing it. And, you know, if you want to give it a go, I'd, even if you're not taking photographs, you know, and you really just want to enjoy the sound, I'd recommend doing it. You know, it's, it's a lot of fun, you know, recording sound and listening to it later. And yeah, if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to leave a comment uh, in the comment section. I really enjoy interacting with you there. And um, until next time, go out and enjoy your camera. Remember, it doesn't matter what you shoot with. And even if you don't have your camera, maybe just walk outside and close your eyes and have a listen because uh, it can be quite amazing. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good week. Stay safe. Cheers.